The new Peruvian Minister of Economics, Alfredo Thorne, proposed eliminating the main tool of the tax entity, SUNAT, to fight against tax evasion by large corporations. Thorne argued he does not want a persecuting state. For analyst Carlos Bedoya, such move comes to no surprise. This is not a technocrat cabinet. When you look at each minister, you can see that this is a business cabinet that comes from corporate boards. And for the members of the business boards, there is little interest in having SUNAT demand taxes that they are not paying by using tricks. Meanwhile, for uses of public services like hospitals, the state needs to collect more in taxes in order to make improvements. The hospitals are saturated. Sick people are piled up on top of each other. You can come in and see. The last time they sent me to do a brain scan, there was nothing there. It takes too much time to get a medical appointment. For example, right now, my hand is paralyzed, and they are giving me an appointment for the 29th. The government recognizes that the state must increase investment in services, and that large corporations owe more than $13 billion to the state. Despite that, they have not specified what mechanisms they will use to acquire the funds. Rafael Mora, Telesur, Peru.